we have reached the end of the actual content that I have to record for MA-265. And uh, consequently, this is also the last piece of content recording that I'm doing this entire year. I'm already done with all of my MA-266. Well, really semester, because I'll be doing 303 over the summer. But that's, uh, that's a moot point, because now we have <laughs> the uh, least fun topic, surprisingly, I left that for last, from MA-265, which is just finding inverses. So, um, yeah, let's, let's, do, let's do this. So we need the one, two entry of A inverse. And the general formula that we're using uh, for these individual entries of uh, the inverse matrix, it's just going to be one over the determinant of A multiplied by the uh, cofactor of, okay, let's call this, so we're looking for the the i the i j entry of a inverse. We're going to need the cofactor of the uh, j of the j i position of our matrix. So uh, what does what does that mean? What is this cofactor uh, going to look like? So we have the one. We have the one, two position. So we're looking for this position of our matrix, but we need the cofactor for the one, sorry, sorry, <laughs> I, got, I already got that wrong. We're, we're looking for the, the one, two position. That is this five right here, first row, second column, but we need the cofactor for the two, one position. We have to switch them. So what is the cofactor? It's going to have a sign out in front of it uh, given by this, scheme here. So for this position, it will have a minus sign. So I'll start filling this in. We're looking for the 2, 1 cofactor. And all it's going to be is the determinant of the matrix that we get by crossing out the row and the column uh, of the positions that we want the cofactor of. So we cross out column 1 and row 2, and we're left with 5, 4, 8, 5. This gives us, uh, this gives us 25 minus 32, which is negative 7, but we have a negative here, so we get 7. And now all we need is the determinant of A. For the determinant of A, I'm just taking 3 multiplied by uh, this determinant right here, minus 5 times this determinant, plus 8 times that determinant. So we get 3 times negative 2, 4, negative 9, 5, minus five times negative two, two, negative nine, five, plus eight times, I always run out of space over here, ne whoops, negative two, negative two, two, four. Let's evaluate, let's evaluate everything here. So this determinant will give us uh, negative 10 plus 30, no, yes, plus 36. Uh, so we get 26 times three times 26 there. Then what about here? We get uh, negative 10 plus 18, so this becomes 8. So we'll get minus 40 there. And then this, uh, this final determinant gives us negative 8 plus 4, which is negative, uh, negative 8 plus 4, which is negative 4, so we get minus 32, so this is minus 72. And 26 times 3 26 times 3, that's, uh, well, 25 times 3 is 75, uh, plus 3 is 78. So 78 minus 72 is 6. So we get 7 over 6, and that's our answer. We're finding the 2, 1 entry of A inverse this time. So our formula is the cofactor of the 1, 2 position of our matrix and we're dividing that by the determinant of A. So the sign on the cofactor will be given by plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. We're looking for the one, two position, the first row, second column, that's right here. So we will have a, we will have a minus sign, and then we're just looking for the determinant when we cross out the one, two uh, column and row. 
uh, so the so the uh, first row second column and that gives us the determinant of one one zero one which is just one so that's what we get there let's find let's find the determinant of this matrix well because we have four in a row by itself and uh, four has a plus sign on it given by this matrix here we can pull out positive four and multiply it by the determinant that we get by crossing out four's row and column that gives us one 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 zero this is equal to negative four so we get one fourth here we have a it's it's a complex valued and has an inverse given there we're finding the sum of all of the terms of the inverse so the so the inverse of a, of a two by two matrix is much easier if we have a matrix with entries a b c d its inverse will be one over a d minus b c uh, multiplied by d a negative b negative c so we divide by the determinant, we flip the positions of the a and the d values, and we flip the signs on the b and the c values. So I'll make that a little smaller over there, and we will, we will get solving. And we shouldn't really be too scared that we have an i here. Uh, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be okay in the end. Okay, so our determinant, a, d minus b, c, is 1 plus i minus 1. So our determinant is just i. The determinant of a is i. That means if we want to find the sum of all of these terms, it will be 1 over i multiplied by, well, let's see, we have uh, d, a, negative b, and negative c. So we can just put d plus a minus b minus c. What is, what is d? That's 1 plus i. What is a? a is 1, and negative b and negative c will just be minus 1 each. So simplifying everything down, the plus 2 and the minus 2 will get rid of each other, and we're left with i over i, which is just 1. And it might be a little scary, you know, we have four complex value answers and we chose the only real one, uh, but it turns out this is our answer, and sometimes uh, the odd answer out is what, they, what, is what they're actually going for. Six, we have a here. We're finding the trace of a inverse, so the sum of the main diagonal entries of a inverse. We know that all of our entries for a inverse will be multiplied by one over the determinant of a, and since we have a one in a column by itself, and that one will have what sign when we pull it out? Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. It will have a minus sign, so we can we can say that this determinant is equal to negative 1 times the determinant that we get by crossing out 1's row and column. So 2, 1, 2, 2. This gives us negative 1 times 4 minus 2. So we just get negative 2. And since our determinant is negative 2, we can take 1 over negative 2 and just multiply it by whatever these three entries uh, will be. And we know that that will just be the cofactor of 1, 1, the cofactor of 2, 2, and the cofactor of 3, 3. The cofactor of 1, 1 will just, uh, and, 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 it's, blah, and it's good to note, these will all have uh, positive signs for our, our cofactors. Um, so finding the cofactor of 1, 1 is just the determinant of this matrix right here. That's negative 2. Then the cofactor for 2, 2 is 0. For that determinant and the cofactor here is also uh, zero so in the end we get one as the trace of a inverse wow this is the last question that's kind of crazy uh, we have a here and we're looking for the 2 1 entry of a inverse so we can find the determinant of this matrix with our handy little friend here uh, whoops, that's a plus. We can uh, see that 2 is in a row by itself, and it has a plus sign on it, so we can pull out positive 2 and multiply it by the determinant of that 2 by 2 matrix right there, formed by crossing out the row and the column 
that 2 was in. This gives us negative 2. So our determinant is negative 2, and all we need to do is multiply that by the cofactor, not of, whoops, not of the 2, 1 position. Remember, we have to switch that. So we want the cofactor of the 1, 2 position, which is just the determinant, the determinant of the matrix that we get by crossing those out, blah, blah, blah. You know, what, you know how this goes by now. And then we have to add whatever sign corresponds to the 1, 2 position from that matrix right there. So we get minus 1. And so our answer is 1 half. And that's it. I don't like inverses, but uh, they're, they're bearable. They're never, just like determinants, they, they don't ever make them too, too bad. This is uh, kind of crazy. I gotta, I gotta think of more fun, fun style videos to do now. Might start click baiting. Huh, don't know. Top 10 craziest problems ever in MA265. You won't believe what number eight is. Anyway, um, yeah, I, <laughs> probably two people are gonna listen to this. So congrats if you're, if you're still here. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>